just getting better. We're artists. We're artists. We are the colors we choose. We use our brushes and fingers too. We're paint slangers. We slang and paint. Create our masterpiece. We crack a jokes and stretching out. We do this every week. We paint real things and sometimes cartoons. Drop down our tarps and meet at high noon. Other kids are outside, but we're in our zone. We just want to play with our T755 shows. We're kidding. We're kidding. Just kidding. What's up, kids? How y'all doing this afternoon? It's Saturday afternoon. It's a cool Saturday afternoon. I'm so glad y'all stopped by to see me. Auntie 755, been missing y'all. You know what I'm saying? So, okay. I know usually I do a live show for you guys, but today I'm doing a recorded show. So feel free to back up this video whenever you need to. If I'm going too fast, so you can go ahead and uh, rewind a little bit and pause whenever you need to pause. Listen, first we're going to start a drawing. Once we get to drawing them, we're, then we're going to paint the school bus. Let me show you a picture of the school bus. So, you see what I'm talking about. I got this off Google, you guys. This is 8 by 11 sheet of paper. I know it looks huge, but it isn't. It's 8 by 11 regular size paper. And I printed this image out from Google. I just Google school bus. And I scrolled down, and I found the one that I wanted to share with you guys today. And so here it is, all right? So uh, get your pencils out, your erasers, and all your supplies. If you have crayons, you use your crayons today. Markers, if you're using markers, colored pencils, it's all going to be a lot of fun, okay? So I, this is my supply box for my drawing. I have, I have a pencil sharpener, okay, for you guys. And I have some erasers. These are the kind that you put on the top of a pencil. I really need to find a better bottle for that. Mm. Okay, and I have several writing tools that I like. So I'm going to pick out something that I want to draw with today. And I think it's going to be these guys. This is a this is a Faber pencil. This is a Faber. So I'm going to use this Faber. I'm going to grab me out one of these erasers like that. Simple stuff, you know what I mean? And I'm going to bring you over to the table so we can start drawing out our school bus, okay? Let's get into it. So, you need some paper, you guys. Get your paper, too. Don't write on anything that you're not supposed to write on. Write on something that you can draw on and you can keep forever. All right? So, it's back to school time, y'all. Let's go. Let's get into it. So, I'm going ahead and set this up. I'm going to move my camera down. So that you can see what I'm doing, okay? All right. Had to put my overhead camera on for you guys so you can see this really good, okay? So I got the canvas. I got the picture inside behind the canvas like so. You just make sure you put it in there, all right? So you put this picture in here, all right? So I'll turn it over. Slide the light box. Slide the light box inside the um, canvas like so. Okay. All right. So you got it in there. And then you just trace it, all right? Make sure. Now, I already started drawing it, but now, yeah, I'm a little bit off here. But it's just going to be just a higher. So just go ahead and start drawing the board as you, as you see it. All right. The bus. Just start drawing the bus as you see it, okay? And it's okay if you go back over your lines. We're sketching. Now, when you get down to the back of the bus, just make that curve off the top of the bus. got to make a curve. You don't want to make it a square right here. You want to make it a curve, okay? 
And you come down the back of the bus, like so, all the way to the bottom, and kind of curve it a little bit, just a little, and go straight in. Now, that's where you're going to meet the tire. We'll deal with the tire in a minute, but right now we want to get the top of the bus done. So, now we have that. So, now we can see that it, it's here. Now, you, you can get a light box that will show you perfectly. All right, so now we're just going to come down in front. I can see it's going a little diagonally looking. And so now we're at this mirrored part here. I think this is part of the light. I'm not sure. We'll find out once we remove it from the back. So just put a mirror. You're gonna, now, now, you're going to, listen, follow me. You're going to go down from the top of the bus, kind of go out a little bit, just a little bit. Now come in to the left real good with a nice little line here. Then I want you to take the line and go downward like this, okay? And then go down a little bit, make a straight line downward. Now you're going to make something like a half C here, and then bring the lip down underneath like that. As for the mirror, you're going to extend out an arm from the bus, okay? Now, this one's curved now, so I'm going to curve it down, bring it out. And then up, then connect it with maybe a U-shape. See the U-shape here? So connect it with a U-shape, and then connect the top of the U and close it off, okay? You see, you guys see how I did that? All right, I'm just following the shape of the bus. It's not going to give me every detail of the bus, but it's sure going to give a lot. And then I can use my artistic abilities to do so. So I come down. I made like an L. Under the L, I made a sideways C. Sideways C. And then here I see there's another sideways C. So I'm going to get that. And these are the tires, okay? Sideways C, sideways C. Now take your pencil and connect them both or your crayon, whatever you're writing with. After you make the two sideways C's and connect them to there, you're going to make maybe give it a little belly underneath, okay? Just a little belly underneath. I'm not sure why. We're going to find out once I lift this up. And you make a little belly. And then curve again and make yourself another halfway C. And then connect it with another halfway C. Okay? Now, I can see in this tire that there's a, a rim to the tire. So we're going to make a little rim. And that's like a circle. Then make a bigger circle on the outside. Connecting it with your halfway C and connect it all the way to that line we brought down from the back. And boom, we got a tire. Okay? So we'll figure out this. I'm almost certain that the bus comes straight across right here. So you can go ahead and connect that to the tire. If you make a mistake, don't worry. Just rewind and go backwards. Okay? So let's work on these windows. These windows are all rectangles and they're all um vertical okay meaning up and down up and down not sideways try it. so we're gonna go with a square or you can take two squares and put them on top of each other i'll show you that if you're not feeling secure with making a rectangle and then you like draw a line right down the middle of the rectangle or you can do it this way one square and then put another square at the bottom and this line is always already drawn, so you only have to do it once. All right, so let's do it again. And make sure they're all the same size, too. Because if you don't make them the same size, the windows is going to be lopsided on your bus. You don't, you don't want that to happen. So make sure that all your windows are the same size. They can be shorter. I mean, not shorter, but... Like, they can range in different sizes for different no. buses. I want you to do that two more times. One more here. All right. And one more here. I think that's one more. We will find out when we pull this paper off if I'm wrong or not. And, don't, oh, yeah, don't forget to put your lines down the middle of them. I'm just drawing them because I think they're there. Then there's a door here. Now, I can barely see on the side because my canvas 
It's smaller. See, it's smaller than the light board, so I'm not getting it inside here. So what I'm going to do is carefully, now it's always good practice to tape your paper inside so that it does not shift or move while you're turning this around. So just be careful. And just get it as close as you can, okay, guys? All right, so we get the light board inside there. There we go. Now, it looks like we kept it pretty straight. So don't forget to draw all your lines on your windows. Like I almost forgot. And that one's kind of off, so I'm just going to change those. And I can erase these extra lines later. Don't let that bother you, okay? You sometimes drawing can take people months to do because they want to do a good job at them. You know, so I want you guys to want to do a good job too. Not take months to do it, like you know, we'll have to. We just, you know, we're drawing a, a bus, and it's not necessarily a masterpiece, but we wanted to make it nice nonetheless. Okay, okay, you guys, I'm drawing a rectangle, a long rectangle. Okay, so I'm coming down one here and I'm going back up. I didn't necessarily do that. When you saw me first draw it, but that's how you can easily get to it is by drawing this triangle shape, okay? So now I want you to make sure that you can have it at least twice the size as your windows, at least twice the size, okay? So go ahead and uh, write over or draw over the lines and make sure you put double lines in the middle because the door has to open, it opens. Uh, outwards so make sure you do that okay, okay you guys you know what time it is let's take a break because we've been sitting drawing for a little while so i always like to tell you guys to stretch out when you are drawing because it's very important that you don't get all tensed up and crooked up and stuff so listen what i want you to do is go ahead and reach your hands straight out like this yeah feels good stretch all the way out you guys feel it in your shoulders okay if it hurts you to do it, then don't do it. If it feels good, then that's how you know you're doing the right thing. Okay? If you have the capabilities, go ahead and reach out and wiggle those fingers, honey. Let's go. Let's wiggle them fingers. Now go to the side like your airplane and just glide through the air, wiggling your neck from side to side. Yes, that feels so good to Auntie Carmen. Do your arms in a tiny, tiny circle. Have you guys done this before? In a tiny, tiny circle and get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah, feel good, don't it? Now do it the other way. Tiny, tiny circles and get bigger and bigger and bigger. Now flap your wings like you're a bird. Yeah, and clap. Uh-oh, hitting the microphone. Clap. Hey, clap. Yeah, clap. Good job. Always stretch out. Get up and walk around if you have to, okay? We don't have to change water or any of that stuff today. We did a drawing. So we're good. We're going to get back into it. I think we're going to start back on the wheels of the bus, okay? Let's get the wheels on the bus going round and round. Round and round. Get on down. Yeah. All right, let's get back into the sketch. Tire done. This is next. I want to go over here next. I see the stripes over here. We'll get to the stripes in a minute. But let's go over here to this. And we're just going to trace that circle. And if you don't have a tracing board, you can just make a circle. And then make another circle. But be sure not to make it a complete circle. And the reason why is because it's the outside of the bus, like the bottom of it. So you don't want to mess it up. Like, we're, we're going to put all these dots in there. We can, we can put the dots in here if we wanted to now. Or we could wait till later. I'm just, I'll just show you what it looks like with the dots. And it's the center of it. So we got that. So next we got the front end of the bus. So instead of you connecting this tire, which I'm sure it does connect. But this front end is going to be covering it. You'll see that once we pull this off and we'll finish the drawing. So let's just put a line here. And another line in like a triangle shape or angle. There's another angle on this side, so make sure two angles, and it's going to be shorter distance here than it would be here, okay? Connect this to the outside of the bus, because that's what's going to be next. Now, in here, there's a grill. 
So we'll just make like two lines. If you want to make it a square, go ahead. It's fine. Whatever is easier for you. But I just made like a little curved line. And then I drew a line straight across. I had another curved line on this side too. I did two curved lines. Drew a longer line at the top. And a little bit shorter line at the bottom. Now in the middle, it's usually like some type of medallion. And they'll tell you what kind of truck it is or bus it is. Whether it's a Ford or Mercury or... And you can just put a medallion there and maybe draw a stick on the side. I mean, at the bottom to make it go down. Now, we're working with this drawing upside down. All right, so it's okay because a lot of artists paint upside down. They draw upside down. You got to be able to turn your, your art all types of ways to get the results that you want. Now, I can turn this the other way if it makes it easier for you guys. You know, so let's turn it. So you can kind of see what I'm talking about when I talk about the grill. Look how it's coming along, guys. Yay. All right. So we're almost finished. Okay. So we're going to get into this window. Well, no, I was at the grill. So what you want to do is you want to make a line going across. And if you make one going that way, you have to make it going the other way as well. I'm not going to follow completely what this person did or G, uh, Google did. I'm going to make my own way. So that's how I decided I want to make my grill. You can make your grill any way you want. Or you can follow the diagram. Now, every bus has headlights. So that's what this little C was. This was a headlight. So let's connect that. And then let's get over here and get this one. And this one's going to be bigger because this side of the bus is facing towards you more so than this side. So what's coming more toward you is always, always going to be bigger than it would be if it was going away from you. Okay? <clears throat> All right. So now I see it has uh, another mirror here. So the mirror goes in like this and it comes up. And then it's got the same shape as this one right here. So we're going to go ahead and put that shape in there, which was like a, a U. And then we close the top of the U off. There we go. All right. And so let's put the window in. And that's going to be a line here. And another line on this side of the bus. And I can see I had made a mistake. And this is possibly that stop sign that comes out on this side. So I'm going to make that kind of more rounder just because I want to and I can see a lot of mistakes that I made with my light box it's got some kind of mechanism up there look at this it's got the word bus up here let's put that in and then we get back to the window okay I'm going all over the place here and and it's fine to do that because when you see your eye catches something if sometimes if you don't go right back to it you feel a little bit like maybe um, you don't feel comfortable. So do what makes you comfortable in your art. It's starting the windshield here and then jumping over here to do this stop sign over there or doing the bus sign up here makes you comfortable. Then that's what you do. No one said it's a rule to this. You can do however you like because you are the person in charge. You have the pencil in your hand. Okay. So you do what you what makes you feel comfortable. And you don't let anybody tell you, you know, that that's not something that you can do because you have to. You're the artist, you know. They're not drawing it for you. You're drawing it for yourself. So I don't know what this is, but I'm going to color it. I mean, going to fill it in. But it's a line there. I think maybe it's the side view of the bus. Because I see other things. So I'm just going to stick with the window right now. And I'm going to go up the middle of it. Like so. Now you know what else I see in here? I see that this bus has windshield wiper blades. Yeah, the case is raining out. It's got blades. So I'm going to put a blade there. And a blade here. But now they can't just float around. They have to be connected to the bus. So let's connect it to the bus. Right there. Alrighty. So cool, we got this windshield going, cool windshield. We've got the grill, headlights is popping. We got some mirrors, some tires, semi-tires on here, the door, windows. 
Back tires is looking good, and we had the shape of the bus. Let's get into some details, all right? Now, here I can see there's a highlighted area where the hood of the bus is. So this is a highlight going up to that mirror, and this is a highlight as well coming off the hood, and it comes across and goes up like that. Good job. I think we're almost through with this front bus. Let's get into these stripes back here. If you're feeling confident, go ahead and make a line. All right? Just make a line straight across the back. Just like that. All the way to the back of the bus. And do another one right underneath. Not directly underneath. Give us some space in between. Because we're going to paint these lines black. It's okay if it's a little squiggly. Once you paint it, you won't even notice. Okay? So don't worry about that. Now I want you to go ahead and do it down here. Going towards the tire, do the same thing you did up there. And close it off if you want. Or you can leave it open. I'm going to close mine off. Right? So my squares are closed. Oh, there's one more here. So just like this line, then it stops and gives rest for the tired area. Then it picks back up and goes all the way just like this to the end. So go ahead and make that one. You can make it like a rectangle like I did. Or you could draw two lines like we did before and close them off. And you guys, look at, we got a nice looking bus going on right here. And we haven't even revealed all the real fine details of the bus. So let's go ahead and take our cameras off the light board, and then we will um, get into that, all right? So let's take it off. We're going to pull our picture off the back, all right? You can leave it on the light board if you have it. In this case, I will so you guys can see. And then we can take it off and then have a look-see at this, okay? So the first thing I noticed that when I looked at this uh, picture, versus our bus is that there's some blinker lights right here all right so we want to add those blinker lights in i didn't see them on the light board so we're going to add that blinker light in i don't see one on the other side so that's cool all right the next thing that i notice about our bus is that it has a bumper right here okay so we're going to go ahead and draw us a bumper meaning we're going to connect over the top of the tires all the way till the tire starts all right so let's get into that hmm i see something else so you can like i spy with your little eye different things about this bus that we don't have on this bus and complete that like what is missing all right so i see on this tire that there's a part here that goes and this part shows the tread of the tire and this my friends is called the sidewall of the tire so we're going to figure it out. We're going to go in here, and we're going to draw this down. And I see it goes, it doesn't go straight. It's like an angle, and it goes right here, and then it stops. And then it's got tread to the tire, which you can make these, or you can leave them as is. I'm going to go ahead and make them. Now I see that this was the outside of that tire. But wait a minute, it's not finished. So what I'm going to do is take my pencil, and I'm going to finish the tire off. See how I did that? And I finished the tire. It's looking good, looking good. Now I notice something else. This tire has the same way. It's got a tread on it, and this one doesn't. It's just a half a C. So we're going to start right here. I'm going to draw this down just to the bottom, and then you can put these treads on the tire if you want to or you can leave them blank okay but anyway this part of the tire will be darker than it's inside than the outside of the tire or the inside of the tire just the inside and it's the outside okay now it's got a bumper guard down here we drew the whole bumper but we don't have a bumper guard on there so i'm going to go ahead and just put one in I'm going to start a little high, and I'm going to bring it down like a curve, come straight across, and then bring it up like a curve. Boom! Woo-hoo! There go the bumper, bumper guard is in effect. So we got a mirror here, a mirror here. I said this was a stop sign, but it's not. It's actually a, a mirror. 
So I'm looking at the, the photograph now, see? All right, y'all see it? Right here. And here, and another mirror here, and another mirror there. But look at our picture. We don't have this mirror. So let's go ahead and draw it on. Okay, come up a little high. Make like a long circle. That's more like a square. So we'll just square it off at the top by making some lines and then bringing it down. And it's got to connect to something. So we're going to go ahead and connect it, okay? Turn my light box back on. All righty. So now we got that done. Um, the Oh, look. You guys, the flashing lights that go up top. Let's put those on. <clears throat> so basically, um, this thing here, in order to give it some shape, we have to draw a line across. And that, my friends, is going to give it a 3D effect, like it's a visor coming out the top. And then from that point, we'll just take our pencils and go straight up on one side, on the other bus, and straight up on the other side of the bus. And now these will paint black, but they both have circles in them. A red and the yellow circle over here, and a red and the yellow circle over there. So let's put it in, a red circle and a yellow circle. And then this is going to be a yellow circle and then a red circle. Two over here, two over there, two over here, two over here. Okay, we got that. Now the 3D effect part is right here where it's a shadowing. Anytime you have shadowing, light and shadow, it's going to give you a 3D effect. If you don't, your bus is going to look flat. So let's just curve around the top of it. And bring it down straight. All right. Now do it again because it's gonna be. Do it again. Put another one just right under that. Don't worry about the other lines. Just keep going. Keep going. And this is gonna give you. Look how nice that turned out. Even with these lines, you can start to see the bus is taking a 3D effect. Okay. So I think we're about finished with the front of this bus. Looking at both sides of it. I think we're about finished. So let's go into whatever else we got. What else do we spy with our eye that we do not have on our bus? Let's talk about the fact that this door has a door handle to it, okay? The door has a door handle to it. So what we're going to do, we're going to see. This looks like it comes to about that window. So let's get right here where this window is. We'll make a straight line. Straight, just go straight across with it, and we'll fix it later. And it's a double handle, so make sure this handle goes all the way across. And then there's two of them. So leave yourself some space. Go ahead and take this and go straight across. And one more. Go straight across. Good job. Looking good, you guys. Now there's steps, because you can't just hop off the bus. You got to get some steps going. So let's draw a straight line across for the top step and a straight line across for the second step that's inside the door. Looking good, looking good. So I'm thinking that this part right here is this part right here, and this door comes all the way down to it. So what I'm just going to do is extend it. Um, that might make my door up there too high. So I'll get my eraser. Grab my eraser. I'm going to erase this first one. See, this is the good part about having an eraser. You can always take away things that you do not want. All right? So I always told you guys, when you erasing and you're drawing, never use your hand to brush away. Okay? Always use an item. Now, the item that I use is my paintbrush. And let me get it. <clears throat> okay, so I got my paintbrush. So now I'm just going to brush that away. Okay? It keeps your pencils from smearing. And any lines that you went over that you don't want to be gone, 
Just take your pencil and go over it. Now we're going to draw another set of stairs down here. And we're going to bring this door all the way down to the bottom of the bus. Just like that. And then we're going to square this off like it should be. See, this is not round. This is a square. So we're going to square this off like it should be. All right? And there it is. All right, so we got that going. And now let's get to these back tires. I've been waiting for these. See, it's two tires on each side. So now we got to make sure we represent two tires on each side. So that was one. So we're going to just draw a line down this one and split it in half. Now it's two. Just that quick. You see what I'm saying? Don't forget to put the tread in the tire if you chose to do so. All right? And they don't have to go straight across and match. They can be uneven because all tires don't roll the same. Same with back here. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up to the side. And this tire that's on the inside is going to get more of the circle than the one on the outside. Just put your lines across it like that. And for this one, you have to do it again. Split it again. More on the outside. I mean, inside than the outside. And you just split that again and put your circles on there, okay? Looking good, you guys. Looking good. I think I want to bring this tire down a little bit more. And erase this line because I didn't do that to my liking, okay? So I'll just erase that and then put back the lines that I want, okay? And there it is. Now we have two tires in the back. Well, up here I put the dots in. So back here, I think I should do the same thing. So what I'm going to do is just take my pencil, start making these little circle these dots, dots all around. I could count these and see how many they put in, but it doesn't matter what they put in. I'm going to put in how many I want because I'm the artist, and this is my drawing for me. Okay? So now make a little space here over the tire. Is darker and that's showing the shadow of the tire inside the bus because the tires go inside underneath so you got to make sure you talk about that draw you know squiggly get it scrub it in and do the same up front please come up front and under here you'll start to see this gets a little darker here on the bus, so we want to represent that so that the bus is just not sitting on top of tires. There's some spots and underneath it's called a wheel weld, and it is there to make sure that the tire does not touch the bus. Looking good. So we got tires. This light is driving me crazy today. All right, because I keep laying my arm on it right here. All right, so we got the bus. The lines are drawn, the windows are in, the body is done, the door is done, even though we could have did a better job at the door, but we'll fix it with our paint job. The uh, roof is done, the lights are on the flashers, the name of the bus is here. It has four mirrors, two windshield wipers, two windshields, a side a, a window, a hood, a grill, two headlights, a bumper and two front tires. Uh, hello, school's ready. Ding ling 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 ling. School is ready. All right, so the school bus is ready. We're looking good, you guys. Looks great. So we're gonna go ahead and paint this thing out on uh, next Saturday. So make sure you keep your reference photo. If you need a reference photo, hit me up at. 755 just kidding at gmail.com and I'll rush you over one of these buses and you can download it and you can draw it out too for your own liking, okay? Also, if you want it on the canvas, you can take this canvas if you don't have a light board like me. One of these light boards is pretty cool. But if you don't have one, take your canvas and hold it up to a light like this and you can see through it too. See my hand in the back? And I got it up to a light. Or you could take it and hold it up to your window in the daytime. And you can draw it that way. So however you draw it, whether you draw it freehand, tracing method, it's up to you. 
I just want you to get it done and get make sure you save enough for your yellow paint next week and a fresh canvas and we're gonna paint the school bus. So let me ask you guys a few questions. Our bus is finished. Yeah, yeah, we started off with this and turned it into what? A drawing. Okay, let's go. Drawing kids. Bus. Drawing of a bus. Bus. Drawing of a bus. So we'll be painting this next week. So make sure you bring all your supplies and get ready to paint found. Like I said, if you want it, holler at me. 755 just kidding at gmail.com. Okay? That is. Alright, so listen. I got it. Oh, I got something I want to ask y'all. How do you get um well how do you get Pikachu on a school bus? How do you get Pikachu on a school bus, you guys? I just wanna know. I know. You Pokemon. Okay, that's how you get them on there. You Pokemon, okay? Hey, shout out to Auntie Cuddles, who's not here this afternoon to greet you guys. But she says a big warm hello and lots of love your way. And these jokes is definitely coming from her, not me. Okay, so don't get mad at me about the jokes. All right, so that was a cool one. That was a cool one. But I got one more for you guys. I'm going to let you go with the jokes. How do, you, how do bees travel? How do bees travel? Um, they take the buzz. Ah, you get it? The buzz. Ah, buzz, buzz. All right. Never mind, you guys. Y'all, it was funny. You know it was. All right, here we go with the school bus. Y'all, so make sure you tune in next week. I want to thank everybody for coming. Shout out to all the parents out there, okay? Aunties, uncles, grandmothers, grandfathers, neighbors, Friends, big brothers and sisters, it helped you all along the day. We appreciate each and every one of y'all. Don't forget to hit the like button on your way out the door. And I will see y'all next Saturday at 12 high noon, baby. So it's been a great pleasure. And once again, we coming from a recorded video. Not a lot. And I miss you guys already. I really do. But I'll be back next week. Guaranteed. All right. So let me know if you like the video format better than you do the live format. It's okay. You're not going to hurt my feelings. I just need to know so I can provide you with the best internet live streams or streams, whichever the case may be, that you could possibly want. Okay? Let me know. Send me an email. Uh, you can't leave a comment, so please send the email. 755-JUST-KIDDING. 755-JUST-KIDDING at gmail.com and I'll make sure I answer each and every one of you and if you want the photo same address email email me email me okay if you need a kit go on the Etsy page that's 755 media on Etsy you can order kid big kid kits little kid kits and adult kits as well yep they're there too just for you okay so we're doing it big over here just kidding I just want to say big shout out to all our supporters, everybody over there, 755 Media, Auntie Cuddles, everybody, you guys. Have a great, great Saturday afternoon, and we'll see you next week. I know it was one more thing I wanted to tell y'all. Oh, yeah, I remember. Uh-huh. Kids deserve art, all right? I'm 755 Media, and I'll see y'all next Saturday, 12 high noon. Be there. Set up, set up, set up, set up, set up. Get ready, set up. get ready, get ready. Get ready.
colors we choose We use our brushes and fingers too We're paint slangers, we slang and paint Create our masterpiece We crack a jokes, we're stretching out We do this every week We paint real things and sometimes cartoons Drop down our tarps and meet at high noon Other kids are outside but we're in our zone Whip my paintbrush out and then I say, just